Welcome. In this segment, we will introduce the CompuPlast Virtual Extrusion Laboratory Extruder Module, which is used to simulate and op optimize screw designs. For this example, we will use a simple 3.5 inch 24 to 1 screw, which has three sections, a feed section, which is eight diameters, a compression section, which is eight diameters long, and a metering section, which is eight diameters long. The feed section depth is 0.6 inches, and the metering section is 0 0.2 inches. The screw has a square pitch of three and a half inches for the flights, and the flight width is constant at one half inch throughout the screw. This is the basic information that we require to perform a simulation. If we start the virtual extrusion laboratory, and I'm going to select the extrusion experts application, we see that we have a bunch of modules listed in this table. If we go down and we select the extruder module, we'll see that there are three tabs associated, the extruder data, the project data, and materials data. In this section, we're going to show how to enter extruder data. You can see here that there are some that are already included with the uh, installation of examples. Now, <clears throat> to create a new extruder, first you want to make sure that you're in the same units as the data provided. That makes life a little easier. So pick a US unit again. And we click New. And we specify that we have a 3.5 inch extruder screw. That's 24 to 1. That's fine. The throat length is one diameter. The feet so le length is um, 2.5. This is the feet throat. Let's assume that's 3.0 diameters. And the number of temperature zones we'll assume are four. And the number of screw sections we saw earlier, there are three sections in this particular screw. These numbers can be changed later. So we're going to rename this screw as the uh, 3.5 inch 24 to 1. And <clears throat> click open. And now we have to enter the information. On the main panel, we don't have to really enter anything other than specify whether we want to put in our data in diameters or in particular units, inches in this case. Um, it will be easier to specify uh, most of the uh, information in diameters. Under the barrel, um, we select the options. Uh, if we have a vented screw, we can specify the vent location. In this case, we don't. If we have material modification, we can specify that here. Uh, for example, we inject uh, some sort of uh, blowing agent or um, something that causes the material to react. And if we have a groove barrel, we select that here. In this case, we don't have those things, so we'll leave that. We can just move on actually straight to the screw, and here we can predefine the constant parameters. For example, the flight pitch, which is three and a half inches throughout the screw, we can uh, predefine that, and that's set by the diameter. And the constant primary flight width, which we said was 0.5 inches, we can change that here at 0 0.50 inches. Now, the next item is the screw sections, and the software starts by dividing them equally, and they so happen to be, but if you wanted to change it, you could specify a different length for each section here. That's just as easy. Go back to eight. And then under the uh, screw section one, we just have one flight. If we want to have double flights, we can do that. And then under primary channel here, we can specify the depth at the beginning and the depth at the end. Now notice in the graph here, this changes. That's because the graph is currently plotting the total channel area. And the channel area has increased because we made it deeper. You'll see that as we go to the next section, here's channel section number two, we can go to 0 0.6 and 0 .2, 0 0.2. And you can see how the cross-sectional area is reducing. And then the last section, we will put 0 0.2 and 0 0.2. 
So we've defined the sections, and as we move, click in this graph and move back and forth, we can see how the feed section is deep, and then in the compression section, how the area, the cross-sectional area reduces. We go File, and Save Geometry, and File, Exit. And that's how we define a, um, an extruder screw. In the next segment, we will run the extruder screw in a project and analyze the results. Thank you.